Hello everybody, welcome back to Florida Man Firearms and today we wanted to do a, a really cool video on the 1911 pistol. Uh, we have two examples of the 1911 here. We have an all steel frame in a uh, modern day, well, more modern production if you will, aluminum frame. Uh, this is a Kimber uh, Shadow 2 and this is a Metro Arms uh, out of the Philippines all steel frame. Um, the days of getting a good 1911 for 1100 to 1200 bucks, maybe even more, obviously the sky's the limit. I think they're pretty limited. Like if you want a nice gun, then you know a Nighthawk would be the way to go. But for your average everyday person, I think you can get a really good 1911 for under a thousand dollars. And both of these guns are under a thousand. And they come from reputable brands. Metro Arms has been known to make good quality 1911s. Um, Kimber in the past has been a little spotty, but um, during our usage of this particular Kimber, um, we've had nothing but absolute uh, reliability with 230 green ball ammunition. The same can be said for this Metro Arms. Um, one of the big factors of making any 1911 reliable um, are the magazines. Um, buy good magazines for your 1911. Um, the ones I recommend and that we've been using on these and the magazines that have been keeping these reliable, um, Wilson Combat Magazines, you can't have enough of them. And we also recently bought this Modern Production uh, Colt Factory Magazine. Um, this magazine, I didn't think it was going to run well. Uh, it actually works quite well. It's a Colt Factory mag, so go f go figure, right? Um, the Wilson Combat mags, these are about $38 a pop, but they are worth their weight in gold, um, especially when you want to get reliable 1911 mags that will work. Um, you, you get these mags, I believe any 1911 uh, will be reliable. Um, with modern production, 1911s can be manufactured uh, to the point where they can be very reliable just like any other handgun in my opinion. Um, I know if you get the real tight ones, um, yeah, I mean if you get a tight gun, uh, you're probably going to, you may have some issues with weaker ammo, uh, give or take, but these modern production guns, um, they work just as good in my opinion as any other polymer striker fired handgun as long as you have good magazines with it. And the cool thing is these guns, and we'll see if we can get a uh, see if we can get a close up here. They have it's not a com like on this gun, it's not a complete feed ramp, but I'm pretty sure you can feed hollow points into this and it'll cycle reliably. Granted, we've ran nothing but 230 grain ball through both of these guns, but even on the Kimber here, it's got a polished uh, feed ramp in it so I would I you know as soon as we can get some hollow points because with the ammo shortage it's kind of hard to find any type of hollow points especially for 45 we will definitely look into that but I, I'm pretty sure this would have no problem feeding jacketed hollow points so as far as comparison goes on these two firearms um, obviously there are some differences um, the Kimber obviously has an aluminum lower uh, and the Metro has a all steel lower um, either one of them will work fine. Uh, you'll feel less recoil on the all steel uh, lower than you will on the aluminum. And the Metro Arms retains the traditional oh, let me grab that, GI uh, spring as to where the Kimber takes the lot, a lot more modern approach uh, again with the aluminum frame and they use the full length guide rod. Now does this make the gun more reliable? I truly don't know. Personally I like the, the old uh, GI guide rod. It obviously has been working for over 100 years. Um, I guess that's just the way Kimber does their thing. Um, the Metro Arms actually comes with usable sights, um, which is nice. Um, they're just three dot white sights, whereas for the Kimber, which is a little higher end on the scale um, of 1911s, has a fiber optic sight. And these are interchangeable. You can actually put Trigicons um, actual duty sights and use this if you wanted to. And also the finish on the Kimber uh, is a lot nicer. Um, the, the Metro Arms has a really good finish. Um, it's got like a, a like a matte 
finish to it. It's kind of, it's really nice, really smooth. Um, the Kimber Custom 2, or the Shadow 2 as they call it, has a very, uh, if you've held a Gen 5 Glock 19, um, it's like their, it's like their version of Glock's in DLC finish. It's really smooth and I really like the fit and finish of the Kimber a, a little bit better. Um, the grips are what semi rubber compared to the traditional wooden grips on the Metro arms. But that being said, both of these guns are quite great. They, they do what they're built for. Um, you get a little, like I said, with the Kimber, you'll get a little more features. It's a little more on the higher end. The manual safety on the Kimber is a little more larger. And on top of that, you have four cocking serrations um, for, the, for those of you who like to do your little press checks. Um, me, I can live, or live without it. It's not a big deal. Um, the Metro Arms is literally your standard run-of-the-mill 1911. Um, it's got the Series 80 slide. So, uh, same thing with the Kimber. That I believe they, this one also has a Series 80 slide. They, they both do what they were built for. Um, the 1911 is a real hard gun to fuck up. Um, I mean, I've seen some really badly built 1911s, but big manufacturing companies like Metro, Kimber, Colt, I would say, I would say that, you know, even Springfield, I would say that just about any civilian can buy him or herself a well-built proper 1911. Um, the manufacturing process for 1911s has gotten a lot more simplified to where they can mass produce them and make them make very high-end uh, nice 1911s. Um, or if you just want to stand out and buy yourself a Nighthawk for $3,000, uh, there's nothing wrong with that either. But as far as the average man or woman, in my opinion, you, you can't go wrong with either one of these or a Colt or a Springfield Armory. So that's the review, guys, of the 1911 and what I think of it. Um, if you like this video, please feel free to comment, share, like, and subscribe.